Great. All right. So here's a now that we have the camera created. What you can do since this is the which camera was it? That's our regular camera, and this is our road you know path camera where it rotates around. Here you can actually modify it so it's actually bigger. That way, when you are actually recording it, you'll get the whole spot like that. You see the preview of it right here. Now I know that one is the one that rotates around because it's on the path that I created. Here's the path. And here's the camera that I had just before, just for a view. So our next step is to do a different kind of path where you can actually see more of your object. Where you would use a spline, which is probably the best bet to in this. Yeah, we'll use a spline. So to do that, what I want to you guys to do is take that circle, make copies of it. Uh, so I go to copy. Where's my oh, where's my material? So and copy it up, copy it down. And now what we need to design is like a a path. I gotta make sure I have my quadrants on. Yes, I do. So I'm gonna start from the center here. Go to top. Maybe go to the bottom. Middle, center, back. So now I'm going to delete those circles that I created. And I have this wonderful path for my camera to go around. So now what we have to do is go to back to our view, motion path animation select the path this time it's this weird cool shape click OK then we select target our target is the center of the triangle or close to it I think I missed I have to do it again or you can do the bottom we'll see how that comes out and now we can do a preview now if you want to see what's going on as this camera view goes, you can view it going through the path. And you can see the camera actually viewing it at the same exact spot every time. I gotta cancel that. Oh, I should have. Hold on, we'll get there. Uh, so, again, the presentation mode. All these are already, you have the basic understanding of that. You can play around with that to get your perfect speed and so forth. Uh, I should have zoomed out before I did that so that you guys could see how the camera is actually going. So here I can do this again. View, motion animation, path, yes, point. Actually, since I want the middle of the triangle, I'm going to draw a line going right through the triangle. And that's going to be the easiest way of getting the center, or so-called center, the midpoint of that line, which would be perfect. And I can do a preview, change one to concept, you know, to a realistic view. And you get a cool view like that. All right, so that's basically that. You would say, click OK and save it. But we're going to do a different little thing in addition to this. Now let's say we have our path. I'm going to modify it a little bit because this one's a little close. So. Yeah, okay. Modified it. Oh, it's going on the bottom. That's fine. And the next option is I want the camera to pivot up and down or side to side based on what it's looking at. Now right now it's just looking at one spot. So when it's following this line, it hits that one spot. Now if you want it to look around it, different ways we can do that easily or somewhat easily as long as it doesn't screw up okay so I did a spline that was awkwardly shaped of course you don't have to do it that way but that's how I'm doing it and what we're going to do next is what we did before view motion animation you select the path the camera's following which is the big one then we select path instead of point 
and we select the path that we have just established. Click OK. Now you can do a preview. Now what it's doing is, as it's following this path, it's also following the second path. So you can actually, I'm going to do it again. You can see the camera head up, moving up and down, side and side. It's not only looking just in the middle, but it's also looking at the top, the bottom of it. It all depends on how you have the spine designed. It's looking at the line. And whatever is behind the line happens to be your object. So it's following the line that you created as it's moving. And it's as it's moving, it's looking at the line as it's moving with it. So whatever part of the line is closer to the point. Yeah, that's the first point at where it's looking at, and then from there on it goes it follows through. Now, if your if your if your outside circle is bigger than your inside circle, that's fine. It's just going to go overlap itself sometimes. So it's not going to cause any defaults or problems. So any shape you design and any shape out here should work. So that is, of course, you would click OK and save your video and hopefully not crash your computer. Uh, yeah, basically that is 3D animation of your project. So if you ever wanted to show somebody how stuff works, that's a great way of doing it. Let's see.